first, we're heading to Northampton General, where slack George student Holly Thompson has arrived at A&E, completely unable to close her gaping gob. As Holly can't really talk right now, probably best we tell you how she got here. Holly was at college, enjoying a particularly riveting lesson of government and politics. Uninspired by the political ponderings, Holly opened wide for a yawn. Her massive mouth manoeuvre caused her jaw to dislocate, leaving her unable to close her cake hole. Literally speechless, Holly frantically nudged her classmate. Try as she might, she couldn't help Holly shut her mouth, and the pair had no choice but to interrupt the lesson. Hello. After a quick visit to the school nurse, who also failed to help our heroine, it was decided that Holly and her jangling jaw should head to A&E. My name is Ajira, I'm one of the doctors. Okay. Obviously, I can see your mouth stopping me open. Uh -huh. okay. Has this happened to you before? No, it hurts. Sorry? She said, ah ha ha ha, ah ha 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 ha. So it has happened before? Yeah, like, kind of, but not like this. OK. Holly's floppy chops might look funny, but they're no laughing matter. It can be quite serious because you can't eat, you can't really drink, and you get dehydrated. But again, it's quite painful as well. Fortunately, Dr. Ajiro has a plan that draws on the latest cutting edge technology. She's going to stuff Holly's mouth with small splints that look a bit like lolly sticks. It might seem bizarre, but there's method in the madness. I don't want it to hurt. By keeping Holly's mouth wedged open with wood, the jaw muscles will get tired, unlock, and allow the doctor to click her laughing gear back into place. Oh, fine. Feels fine. Uh-uh. Feels funny. Yeah, it usually does. Actually, oh. I can get one more in. Uh-uh. They like that. Uh -huh. That's a jaw-dropping 26 little lolly sticks holding Holly's mouth open. All Holly has to do now is wait for the wooden sticks to work their magic. See if jamming Holly full of lollies has done the job. There's only two rules for this. One is that you relax and two is that you don't bite me. That's it. As Dr. Ejiro manoeuvres the mouth, there's a chance Holly's gnashes will clamp down hard on her hand. Relax. Close your mouth. That's it. Back down. Finished. The doctor's digits are safe and Holly's jaw is back where it should be. Was it painful? No, it just aches a bit. It will do, because it's been out of joint for a little while. I would avoid yawning too widely or anything like that, because it's a bit unstable at the moment. Now that Holly can close her cake hole, it's time to head home. And she's even got a souvenir of splints for the mantle. Honestly, the things people will do to get out of double politics.